These are the top five Android emulators of 2025. But here's the thing. Only one truly stands out as the ultimate choice. So if you're looking for the perfect Android emulator to power your PC, you've landed on the right video. Each emulator brings something unique to the table. So let's dive in and find the best fit for you. First up is Bluestacks X, the latest version of one of the most popular Android emulators out there. Bluestacks X runs on Android 12, offering compatibility with almost any Android app or game you want. It's perfect if you have a mid-range or high-end setup with at least 8 to 16 GB of RAM. What's really amazing is Bluestacks X's cloud gaming support. You don't even need to install games on your PC. It streams them from the cloud, which saves space and increases speed. So if you want a high-performance gaming experience without sacrificing disk space, this is a top choice. Bluestacks X works well on both Windows and Mac OS, making it versatile for different setups. It's perfect for heavy gaming and offers great stability for general app use, too. Next on the list, we have LD Player 10. This emulator is ideal for users looking for an alternative to Bluestacks. Running on Android 11, it supports almost all Android games and apps. One unique feature of LD Player is that it allows multiple instances, which means you can run multiple apps at once. LD Player uses more of your CPU than GPU, making it a solid choice if you're working with a decent processor but don't have a high-end graphics card. It requires at least 8GB of RAM to run smoothly, just like Bluestacks. If you're looking to play Android games while multitasking or using other apps, LD Player 10 could be the perfect match for you. Moving on, we have Knox Player 7. A fantastic option if you're working with a mid-range PC that has about 4 to 8 gigabyte of RAM. It runs on Android 9, but also offers a beta version of Android 12 if you want to try out newer features. Knox Player is available on both Windows and Mac, making it another versatile choice for various systems. Knox Player is designed for both general use and gaming, but it's optimized for people who want a seamless experience with popular apps without the need for a high-end system. So if you're looking for a balance between performance and compatibility, give Knox Player a shot. Now, if you're a serious gamer, check out GameLoop. This emulator is built specifically for gaming, with a focus on popular games like PUBG Mobile and Free Fire. One big plus is that GameLoop only needs 4GB of RAM to run smoothly, making it accessible to users with lower-end setups. Game Loop provides an optimized gaming experience and focuses on graphics and smooth gameplay. Keep in mind, though, that it doesn't support a wide range of general apps like other emulators. If gaming is your primary purpose, Game Loop will give you a fantastic experience. But if you're looking to use a broader set of Android apps, one of the other emulators might be a better fit. Last but not least, we have Moo Moo Nebula. If you have a low-end PC with as little as 1GB of RAM, this is the emulator for you. Moomoo Nebula runs on Android 7, which is a bit outdated, but for older games and lighter apps, it's perfect. The best thing about Moomoo Nebula is that it doesn't require virtualization technology to be enabled, meaning it's compatible with almost any setup. It's lightweight, easy to run, and a lifesaver if you're working with limited resources. If you're looking to run some basic apps or play light games without needing a powerful machine, Moomoo Nebula is your go-to option. All right, now that we've covered the best emulators of 2025, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more tech content, and drop a comment below, letting me know which emulator you're excited to try. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.